Amen. God bless you, my friend. God bless you. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad. And I am telling you the truth, my friend. If you have Jesus, you have everything. Remember that we came to this world with nothing, and we will live with nothing. But if you have Jesus, then you know that heaven is your home. I'm telling you the truth. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. So I want to show you today that Jesus Christ is the creator of the whole universe. Amen. He is the creator. That's why you can trust him. You can put your hope in him. Jesus said, if you, you know, he said, trust in God, trust also in me. My father's house and many mansions. So, so Jesus said, if you trust God, trust also in me because I am the creator of the whole universe. I'm the one that designed you. I'm the one to keep you. I'm your Lord. I'm your Savior. Hallelujah. Praise God. Jesus Christ is the Lord. Okay. Finding Jesus in Hebrew. Okay. In Hebrew Bible, that's me. Bereshit in the beginning. In beginning. Bereshit in beginning. Genesis chapter 1 verse 1. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is the one who bara, that means created the whole universe. He is the one who created the whole universe. I am telling you the truth. Jesus is the creator. He's the one that created everything. That's why John declared in the in uh, John chapter 1, verses 1 to 3, it says, In the beginning, Lamb, well, hallelujah, let's read together, my friend, praise God, hallelujah, listen to, listen to what it says, it says that in the beginning, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, He was with God in the beginning, hallelujah. Through him, all things were made. And without him, nothing was made that has been made. Jesus is the Lord. Also, the Bible says in Revelation chapter 22, verse 13, Jesus said that I am the Alpha and the Omega. That means the first and the last, the beginning and the end and the earned. Amen. He is our God. So again, I want to show you something that's so shocking today. I want you to know that, hallelujah, that God is amazing God. Do you know that God started uh, you know, Hebrew alpha, alphabet, that means alphabet in a, in a Greek, in a alphabet. It started with, with Father. God started you know, um, uh, Hebrew al alphabet with Father. Hallelujah. It started with with Father, I am telling you the truth. It started with Father. Hallelujah. It started with, uh, with Father. We are so blessed. We are so blessed that God is our Father. Amen. He started the alphabet with Father. He started with alphabet. He started alphabet with Father. Praise God. Amen. Now, I want to show you the alphabet. This is alphabet, okay? This is alphabet. Now, and uh, they they write from um, the the Hebrew he, he, uh, the Hebrew is you know is written from the left or you write from the left okay you have to write from left to right okay we write from man <laughs> you write from left you know from uh, from right to I mean from left to to right but God started the alphabet you know. You know, from from the right side, and not on the left side. Amen. That he is God. Amen. So you see, Aleph, the first letter Aleph, we can mark it with red. Okay. The first letter is Aleph. Okay. The last letter is Tav. That means it's 22 letters they have. Okay. All right. So God started this letter. This the first two words you see in this letter is Aleph Bet. Aleph Beth is Father. I'm going to show you today that Aleph Beth is Father. God started the word, his, his the Hebrew letters with, you know, with Father. Praise God. Hallelujah. You can trust God. You can, you can really, really trust him. Amen. Now, I want to take you to... Uh, to he uh, to Hebrew uh, pistograph uh, because when you look at the Hebrew, Hebrew, uh, Hebrew pistograph, you'll be able to understand what I'm saying. That God started the Bible, or rather the the the, uh, the alphabet with with uh, with 
Father. Now let's look at it. Look at it. Now this is the pistogram. This is the Hebrew pistogram. Okay. Now when you look at it, you see the first letter up on the left side is Aleph, and then Aleph you see ox head, and ox head means God. It means strength. It means leader. Okay. It means power. So God. So when the Hebrew people when they when they see ox hair, they see God, okay, they know, okay, this is God, this is speaking about God, amen, so you see that, that God already revealed himself in his letter, so the first letter is God, amen, the second letter, and now look at the second letter there, amen, on the left, again, on the left up, you know, uh, the one on the our left is Beth, and Beth is the house, it's in, and then when you put these two letters together, it's going to become Father, Ab, Ab, Father, Amen. Jesus Christ is Lord. I'm telling you the truth, Amen. Hallelujah. So much to discover. Now look at it. Now look at it. You see, you see the first letter is Af, Aleph is the first letter, okay? Aleph is the first letter, and then Bet is the second letter. So look at it. You see that the Aleph is the oxide. This is God. It's strength. It's power. It's authority. It's a leader. All right. And then, and then you see, uh, you see Bet. Bet is in. All right, bet is in. All right, amen. Praise God. Amen. Bet is in. That means, uh, he, you know, he's. Uh, he, he, when you put both of them together, you're gonna find. You're gonna find out that in a both of them is a word, and that word is Abba. Amen. Or Ab. Okay. Uh, Ab. When you put the two letters together, then you get Ab. Ab. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God is our Father. You see that? You see Beth? You see Aleph Beth? Aleph Beth means Father. Aleph Beth means Father. Hallelujah. Abba, Father. Ab or Abba, Father. In Genesis, Genesis chapter 1, verse 1, reveals Jesus as, as the one who bara. Genesis chapter 1 reveals Jesus as the one who bara. I mean, this is a this is the Genesis. This is Genesis 1 1, okay? This is Genesis 1 1. This is Genesis 1 1. Hallelujah. It's a bera shit bera. Elohim et hashamayim va et hahares. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Amen. God created the heavens and the earth. Hallelujah. I'm going to show that Jesus is the one who bara, who created everything. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus is the one, the only one who bara in, in, a, in, in, a, in, a, in the Bible. Okay. He is the one who bara. This is what you get. This is the bara. Bara. That's created created bara is used in genesis chapter 1 verse 1 god created god created the heavens the heavens and the earth god created the heavens and the earth hallelujah god created heavens and the earth genesis chapter 1 verse 21 god created creatures of the sea and every living thing and Every moving thing God created. In Genesis chapter 1, verse 27, God created man in his own image. Hallelujah. Praise God. What makes this word bara? Hallelujah. What makes this word so special, my friend? You know, you know, what makes this word bara so special is that God is the only one. Praise God. God is the only one who bara in the Bible. God is the only one who bara in the Bible. Hallelujah. Now, let's take a close look at the word bara. You see that? At the word bara. Amen. That word bara. Amen. It's awesome. The word bara is amazing. That word bara is created. Hallelujah. The word bara is an amazing word. I'm telling you the truth. All right. Now, when you look at this bara, the first two letters you're going to get from this bara is, uh, is, is son. <laughs> the first two letters from this bara, you get what you get? He gets son, bar. Hallelujah. Bar. You see? 
I remember, remember I showed you the pistograph before. You see, you have the bed, you have the bed, which is an inn, which is a, the, the house, the inn, and then you have resh, which is a, a head, okay? So Jesus is, you know, is, is, is the son of God. Jesus is the ba, hallelujah. Ba means son. Ben also means son, but here we see ba, I mean, ba I mean Son, praise God, amen. So Jesus is the Son of God, amen. When you put the three letters together, bara, and when you put this, these three words together, bara means Son of God. That's why the Son of God is the one who created. You remember, I talk about bara. So jibara means, you know, created. Jesus is the one who created, amen. Praise God, hallelujah. Praise God, you see, bara, you see, a bed is, is a inn or house or, you know, or tent, and then you have resh, which is the head, and then you have uh, aleph, which is uh, ox head, which is God, and strength, and power, and, you know, and, and everything, amen. Leader also, okay, hallelujah, praise God, amen. You see them? You see that? That's what you get. You get Abba. You get Son. You get Son of God. Okay? That's what you're going to get, Son of God, when you put them together. But when you look at Genesis chapter 1 again, look at the Genesis to show you Bara. Again, do you see Bara in Genesis? You see, in Genesis, you see Bara. Hallelujah. Praise God. You see, you see Bara there again. You see Bara. I want to show you that, that because it's important that we see, you know, this. Okay. We see because it's very, very important. Amen. To show you that God is our Father and Jesus is our Creator. Praise God. You see, Bet. You see the first the first word there Barashit. You see bar, you see bar, uh, bar, bara there, and you see again bara and you know three letter again bara is also also there. Amen. That God is showing us that He is that Jesus is is our Creator. All right. Amen. Hallelujah. He is our creator. So you can be rest assured that Jesus will protect you. We take care of you. All right. You see the Berashit again. Do you see? You see that Berashit? You see the three letters there? The three letters there is what do you get there? You get the Son of God, Aleph. You get Bet, Bet, Resh, and Aleph. When you put them together, it's going to become. Son of God, I'm telling you the truth. Put them together, all right? When you put bara, when you put bara together, together, you have to put bara together, okay? So when you're gonna get created, God created, created heavens and the earth. He, is, he used his word to create. So now let's put three of them together. Let's form a word. What do you get? You get Hallelujah. Look at it. Look at it. Son of God. Hallelujah. Son of God. Remember that bar. Remember the uh, bet. Remember bet. Resh is son. And then Aleph, <laughs> which is God. I mean, amen. You see, son of God. Jesus is the son of God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Do you see what I'm saying? That Jesus Christ is the son of God. He is the son of God, my friend. Jesus is the son of God. You can trust him. You can trust Jesus. I'm telling you the truth. Amen. You can trust Jesus, amen. You can trust him because he is the one who created everything. That's why the Bible said that in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. He was with God in the beginning, and through him all things we are made. Amen. All things we are made through him. All things, all things we are made through him. I'm telling you the truth. Without him, nothing was made that had been made in him was life. Amen. Hallelujah. So God is our strength. All right. He's our strength. God is our strength. He's our God. Jesus is our creator. Amen. Hallelujah. The word bara is the, you know, is the, is the, is the first, is the first uh, three letters in Berashit. The first three letters in Berashit. First three letters in Berashit. I'm telling you the truth. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It's the first three letter in Berashit. So you can rest assured that God to take care of you, that Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Amen. Jesus is Lord. You see that. You see the first three letter that I have been saying. The first three letters in Berashit is, 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 is you know, 
is the Son of God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. The first three letters in a better shit. Okay, so you can trust God. You can trust Jesus. Okay, Jesus said, trust in God. Trust also in me. Trust in God and trust also in me. Amen. Trust in God. Trust also in me. Trust in God and trust also in me because Jesus is the Son of God. He is the Son of God. Jesus is the one who created everything. I'm telling you the truth. Without him, nothing was made that has been made. Amen. Without Jesus, you cannot. You, I'm telling you the truth. You, without Jesus, you are nothing. I'm telling you, we are nothing without Jesus. Because remember that Jesus Christ is the one who created everything. Jesus is the one who created everything, everything, I'm telling you the truth. Everything Jesus created, everything. I'm so thankful that Jesus is the one who created me. Hallelujah. He created me. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Jesus is Lord. He is the creator of the whole universe. Amen. Jesus is the creator of the whole universe. Hallelujah. Praise God. You remember that the Bible said that Jesus is, is the one who created everything. Amen. In uh, Colossians chapter one, chapter 1 verse 16. Let's read together. Amen. Jesus is the one who created everything. Look here. Listen to what he said. He said, for in him all things were created. In him, in Jesus, all things were created. Things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities. Hallelujah. All things, all things, you know, with authority, all things have been made. Or all things, all things have been made or have been created, amen, created through him and for him. Everything, amen, Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. But the question is, why? Why we are all things? Why we are all things created by, you know, by him and for him? Why? Why? Because, you know why? Because he is. Yes. Why? Because I know. Because he is the son of God. He is the son of God. Amen. That's why all things, we are, you know, we are created. Amen. Because he is son of God. Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. He is Lord. Amen. He is Lord. Well, we are all things created by him and for him. Why? Because he is the son of God. Amen. Matthew chapter 28 verse, 20, verse 18 says that, says that all authority, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to him. All, all authority has been given to him because he is the son of God. God is letting us know, my friend, God is letting us know that the Son is the creator. Hallelujah. In Berashi, that means in beginning. God is trying to let us know that the Son is the creator. Amen. In Berashi. He is. He is the creator. In Berashi. I am telling you the truth. He is the one who created all things. Amen. He is telling us that. In Berashit, this is our beginning, the word beginning. God is saying that Jesus is the one who created every, everything. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now, I want to show you the plan of God, you know, for salvation before the creation of the earth. Before the creation of the earth. Hallelujah. Praise God. Before the creation of the earth, the, 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 amen, we are so blessed. We are so blessed, my friend. We are so blessed. We are so blessed. Now, now what I want to show you here right now, I want to show you the, the pistograph, okay? The pistograph of, uh, of Genesis chapter 1. That means uh, of beginning. That means the word, the the beginning, okay? Or in beginning. Okay, now this is the pistograph. This is the pistograph in beginning. All right, this is the pistograph in beginning. All right, this is how it looks like. And when you look at it again, you see, you see bet. You see the bet is a house. It's a in when you put. You see resh. Resh is the second one when you put resh and bet to get bet together. And then what you get, you get you get son. Amen. You get son. 
Amen. You see the uh, the, the ox, uh, you know, uh, head, which is God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. We are so glad. So this is how it looked like. And then you see the, you know, the, uh, the, um, um, you see, uh, 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 it's a, it's a shin. Shin is like a, uh, like a, like a teeth, a destroyer, you know, destroyers, you know. It's, and then you see yod, yod is a hand, and you see, uh, you see the, uh, the tab, or the last letter of uh, al alphabet is, uh, is cross, you know, it's a covenant, it's, you know, it's a, it's a mark when you have a, you know, when you make agreement or when you, you know, agree. When you have an agreement with someone, then you put a mark on it. It's a mark, okay? Hallelujah. Praise God. You see what I'm saying here? I'm saying that this is a pistograph to show you that Jesus Christ is the creator. He's the son of God who created everything. Amen? You know, the son of God, you know, you know, son of God destroyed by, the, by you know, it's amazing what Jesus Christ did for us. I mean, the Son of God, a whole Son of God destroyed by the work of His hand. That's what, that's what the lipstograph has showed you right now. The work of His own hand. Amen. On the cross. Amen. Destroy on the cross. The work, you know, this. Let's look at it. Let's just look at that. The Son of God. Look at it. Look at it. You know. Amen. The Son of God. The Son of God destroyed by the work of his hand on the cross on the cross praise god on the cross for you and i jesus christ already our salvation was already planned before the foundation of the world amen amen this is, uh, god is amazing i'm telling you the truth look at that just look at this is the this is the tab this is the last letter remember aleph and tab in the beginning you know in the Hebrew letter, or oh, Aleph, Aleph bed. Okay, this is a, a covenant, you know, a stick of covenant God has made with us that the Son of God was destroyed on the cross willingly with his own hand. Think about it, because he went to the cross willingly just to die for our sin, all right? So because God is a loving God, he is our Father, he loves us, amen, amen. He loves us so much because he, we are his children. Have you ever, hallelujah, amen, have you ever wondered, amen, have you ever wondered, my friend, have you ever wondered what Jesus meant when he said in Revelation chapter 22, 13, I am the Alpha and the Omega. Have you ever wondered what he meant by that? He said that I am the Alpha and the Omega. I am the Alpha and the Omega. I am, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Have you ever wondered what he meant by that? Hmm? The beginning and the end. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. He is a loving God, he is the first he is the last. Jesus is saying here that I am Alpha. I am Alpha and the Omega. I am Alpha and the Omega. That is the first letter and the last letter. Amen. I am Alpha and the Omega. I am Alpha and the Omega. Do you know that normally God is the one who is Alpha and the Omega, because in the Bible, God said that I am the, you know, that he is the one who is the first and the last. But Jesus is claiming that, that he is Alpha and the Omega. Praise God to show you that Jesus Christ is truly our God. He is God. Amen. So one way or the other, Jesus is saying that I am God. Hallelujah. Jesus is saying I'm God. If God says that I am Alpha and the Omega. And Jesus here is claiming that I am Alpha and the Omega. Hallelujah. This is another way to say, of, or rather, this is another way of saying, I am the beginning, I am the end, the first and the last. So much more, Jesus is saying, I am God. Yes, I am God. Jesus is saying, I am God. <laughs> Amen. Jesus is saying, what Jesus is saying, if Jesus is saying, I am Alpha and the Omega, he's saying, I'm God. 
Isaiah chapter 44, uh, 44, 6, you know. Isaiah 44, 6. Isaiah 44, 6. Listen to what Isaiah 44, 6 says. Isaiah 44, 6 says, Thus says the Lord, the King of Israel and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, I am, hallelujah, I am the first and I am the last. Beside me, there is no God. Amen. There is no God. Hallelujah. In Hebrew, you know, Jesus is, he is saying, I am Aleph. He's saying in Hebrew, he's saying, I am. God is saying, I am Aleph and Tav. That's the first letter. Jesus said, I am Alpha and Omega. Okay, that's the, you know, in a, in a, in a, in a, uh, um, in a Hebrew Aleph, Aleph Bet, he's saying, I am Aleph Bet. I am the Alpha and the Omega. And God is saying, I am Alpha and Omega. Amen? Say, I am Alpha and Omega. So being, being the first and the last, he is claiming, amen, he is claiming to be God, which, you know, which Jesus Claims God's claiming I'm God, but Jesus now is claiming that He is God, so that Jesus is God. I'm telling you the truth. You see, Jesus is God. If Jesus said, I'm Alpha and the Omega, He's saying, I am our left bed. So God said, I am Alpha and the Omega, I left bed, I'm Alpha and the Omega. Jesus said, I'm Alpha and the Omega. So you see, that Jesus Christ is Lord, He is God. Now we have clarified who the first and the last is. Let's move on. Amen. Let's do move on, my friend. When John writes in John chapter 1, verse, uh, John chapter 1, verse 1, he said, in the beginning, amen, when he writes in, uh, you know, in the, in a, in a, in a, you know, in John chapter 1, verse 1, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, amen, and the word was God, amen, the word was God. He is saying, he is trying to, in fact, he is trying to draw the, you know, the, reader's attention that you know that is uh, that is that is the beginning of the genesis that's what he's trying to say he's trying to take us back to genesis chapter uh, genesis chapter 1 verse 1 in the beginning all right god created everything by his word amen amen the new testament was written remember written in aramaic and the greek that is why jesus that's why jesus says i am the alpha and the Omega. Amen. Jesus said, I am Alpha and the Omega. He said, because it's, that's why he said, I am Alpha and the Omega. So in other words, he's saying, I am. I am Aleph. I am Bet. I mean, Tav, rather. I mean, I am Alpha and the Omega. I am Aleph, Tav. That's what he's saying here. That's what he's saying. Jesus is saying, I am Aleph and I am Tav. Praise God. Hallelujah. So what Jesus Christ Hallelujah. So what Jesus, what Jesus Christ, you know, what Jesus Christ meant can only be revealed when translated, amen, into Hebrew. Genesis chapter 1 verse 1. Amen. What Jesus meant is that he has been in existence before the Torah or the law. Amen. He has always been. John also wrote in John chapter 1 verse 1, he says that, you know, he says that in the beginning, again, I, I, want to, I want to read again. You know, he said that in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. Amen. What was God? The Word with God in the beginning. Hallelujah. Right in the middle, I want to, I want to show you something that, that right in the middle of, a, of, a, of a, right in the middle of, of the sentence of Genesis chapter 1, we see Aleph Tav. Let's, let me show you right now. You, you see that. You see the Aleph. You see, you see the, the, in the middle, you see a word, et. I put it there, et, okay? So that is uh, Aleph Tav. Just in the middle there, that Jesus said, I am the beginning. Amen. I am the first and the last. I am the first. Jesus is saying, I am the first and the last. Amen. This word is untranslated word, which you can find only, only 
only in Hebrew Bible. Amen. You can only find it in the Hebrew Bible. This is like I showed you here before. You can only find it in the in the Hebrew in Hebrew Bible. This can't find it anywhere. It cannot be translated because it is not a word. That 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 is not a word. It is not a word. All right. It's not a word. This is the Aleph and this is Tav. All right. Jesus is referring to, you know, Aleph Tav. That means I am. I am the first and the last. The book of Revelation also, hallelujah, the book of Revelation also, also, uh, you know, uh, begin with, uh, with, uh, with Aleph, Aleph, uh, Aleph, or uh, let me say Alpha and the Omega. He said Alpha and the Omega, okay? He started with Alpha and the Omega, the book of the book of Revelation starts with Alpha and Omega. That's what you get here. Alpha and Omega, that means Aleph, Aleph, Tav. All right? Praise God. We are so blessed, my friend. We are so blessed. We are so blessed that Jesus is our creator. Amen? He is our creator. John 1.1. 1, 1. John 1.1 1, 1 to 3. Say, in the beginning, in the beginning, in the beginning was the word. Again, in the beginning was the word. And in the beginning was the word. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was with, the, with God. Hallelujah. And the word was with God. And then, hallelujah, praise God. The word was with God. And through him, through him, through him, all things. Things were made, and without him, nothing was made that has been made. Praise God. Jesus is the word of God, the first and the last. He is the word of God, the first and the last. Aleph Tav. Jesus is Aleph Tav. I am telling you the truth. Amen. I am telling you the truth. Jesus is all you need today. Jesus is Aleph Tav. Jesus is Aleph Tav, the beginning and the end. Jesus Christ is Lord. You can trust Jesus. You can trust Jesus. Amen. You can trust him. You can trust him. Amen. You can trust Jesus. I'm telling you the truth. You can trust him. Hallelujah. You can trust him. Genesis. The word in Genesis, you know, Genesis uh, like the beginning, be Rashid, amen. I'm telling you the truth, it's a powerful word that reveals Jesus in, you know, in, uh, in, 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 you know, in, uh, in the beginning. Praise God. Hallelujah. Genesis chapter 1. In the very sentence of Genesis chapter 1, Jesus' word. Hallelujah. Jesus' word. Hallelujah. In the beginning, Barashir, Jesus is the word. Praise God. He is the word that created everything. Jesus is God. Jesus is the word of God. When he speaks, Jesus is the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. When he speaks, amen. When Jesus speaks, hallelujah, some things come into being. I'm telling you too, in the very sentence of the word of God, hallelujah, from Genesis into Revelation, he is, he is living. Hallelujah. He is, in fact, he is the living word. And when he speaks, things are created by his word, Jesus is Lord. In him is life because he is the one who spoke all things and into being. You can trust Jesus. You can have life in him. Amen. He spoke everything in, you know, into being because he is God. Amen. Let me show you once again the plan of salvation which is revealed in Genesis chapter, uh, chapter, chapter 1. Hallelujah. Plan of salvation revealed in Genesis chapter 1. Amen. Berashit. I'm telling you the truth. Amen. I think I've, I said it before, but I want to I want to show it again to you because uh, it's important that we know what we are doing. Amen. Now, the word again, Berashit. Do you see the word? You see the word Berashit again. And when you look at Berashit, you see something amazing in that word, Berashit. I'm telling you the truth. Amen. I'm telling you the truth. That word is so powerful. Berashit. Remember, I showed you. Uh, uh, 
the pistograph or pistogram of Hebrew pistogram. Remember, I showed you this pistogram before. Remember, I showed it to you before. Okay, amen. Hallelujah. Now, amen. We have to take a look. Amen. Now you see how this is how it looks. I've showed it before, but this is how it looks. Okay, okay. In Hebrew, in a Hebrew, um, Hebrew pictogram. Okay, in the beginning. In the beginning, in the beginning, in the beginning, my friend. I hope you are following me, my friend, because, uh, amen, in the beginning, God is amazing God. You see, you see Beth, you know, and you see Resh, you see, you see Beth again. I want to show you it again. You see Beth, you see Resh, you see the son, again, son, by son. Jesus is the son of God. Jesus is the son of God. You see head. Amen. You see head, which is, uh, you see house, and you see tent. That's Jesus is the word of God. Jesus is the word of God. Jesus is God. Hallelujah. He's the son of God. Jesus is the son of God. Amen. Hallelujah. That's why in John chapter, uh, chapter remember, I, I talk about tent, okay? Here you see tent, you see that, the you know, uh, the bed, you know, ba is ba, ba. Is bar is son, amen. That's why you know in John chapter uh, John chapter two, verse nineteen to twenty one. You see the Bible said that you know the Bible said that Jesus. Remember when Jesus was arguing with his uh, with his Pharisees and who were accusing him. Jesus said to them, you know, to the Jews. You know, Jesus answered. Uh, Answer them, destroy this temple, destroy this temple because Jesus is a house, you know, that's a bed. Ban is the house of God. He said, destroy this temple, this, you know, and I will raise it, you know, again in three days. And in verse 20, hallelujah, 20 says that, amen. He said that uh, the Jew replied, it has taken 46 years to build this temple and you are going to raise it in three days and verse 21 hallelujah jesus is lord in verse 21 listen to what jesus said but the temple he has spoken of was his body the temple he was spoken he spoken of was his his body so to show you how jesus went to the cross to die for us amen was, you know spoke of his body hallelujah Hallelujah. Praise God. Look at the symbol of the bed. Amen. Look at the symbol. Look at the symbol of bed. You see, what do you see there? You see the bed. What do you see here? Hallelujah. Look at the bed. Look at, look at the symbol of bed. It is the very house of God. That's why Jesus said, destroy this temple. You know, it's very, you know, um, very, uh, uh, you know, a uh, house of God, temple of temple of God, house of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Jesus is Lord. The Son is the very temple. The Son is the very temple. Hallelujah. The wonderful plan of salvation. Praise God. The Son of God. Amen. The Son of God. You know, we we destroy we destroy the sinful works of our hand on the cross. This is awesome. God's plan and for the salvation of mankind was planned from the beginning of time. God's plan to save man was there from the foundation of the world. And the book of Revelation 13.8 confirms it by calling Jesus the lamb slain from the foundation of the world. Yes, from the foundation of the world, my friend. He is. Amen. He is our God. This is a deeper, a deeper, you know, uh, a, you know, meaning, you know, kind of, you know what I'm talking about, meaning, meaning of, of what Jesus Christ has done for us. Amen. That Jesus Christ was, you know, this our salvation was planned before the foundation of the world. Amen. Amen, my friend. We are blessed. Jesus is Lord. Amen. Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. So this is a, a deeper meaning of Aleph. 
Alef and Tav. Amen. Alef and Tav. Now, Alef Tav. All right. Jesus Christ is Lord. That Jesus is the Alpha and the Omega. Amen. The beginning and the end. Found in the first verse of Genesis chapter 1. Or the letters of Hebrew letter. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I want you to know that Aleph, that Aleph, you know, mean, that the meaning God, God, strength. Do you see that? It means God. Amen. Aleph means God. Or oh, Aleph means ox. You can see ox I put next to it. Ox, it have, you know, meaning strength, meaning power, it meaning God, it meaning leader. Amen. God is our strength. Amen. He is our strength. God is our strength. You can trust him. All right. Amen. You can trust God. You can trust God. Then you see we have a covenant with God. God has made a covenant with us. God the Father made a covenant with us. All right. He made a covenant with us because he loves us so much. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him will not have you know, will not be destroyed, but have everlasting life. This is the cross. You see the tab, the leather tab is the cross. It's a covenant. God has, a, you know, stick of covenant that God has made with us. My friends, hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. My friends, God loves you. He loves you, my friend. He does not want anyone to perish. God loves you so much and he doesn't want anyone to perish. I'm telling you the truth. God loves you so much. God loves you so much and he does not want anyone. This is God. This is God. God. The ox head is God. Amen. God so loves you. God himself went to the cross. God himself went to the cross. I'm telling you the truth. God himself went to the cross. God himself died on the cross. God himself, God himself, God himself, God himself, God himself, my friend, God himself died on the cross. God himself died on the cross of stick for you. To make an everlasting covenant with you. Why don't, turn to, why don't you turn to God now? Through repentance. God himself died on, you know, on, the, on the cross of stick for you. To make an everlasting, everlasting covenant. Amen. Everlasting covenant with you. Why don't you repent right now? And turn to him. Amen. For God so loved the world. Remember I said, it be, I said it before. Let me say it again. For God so loved the world. That he gave his one and the only son. Now whoever believes in him. Will not perish but have everlasting life. I've shown you. That Jesus is one who barav. He's one who created. In Genesis chapter 1 verse 1. I showed you. That Jesus. Is the creator in the beginning, Barashit, that is in beginning, he is one that created. Jesus was placed, the Son of God was placed in that letter, in that word, beginning, to show you that he is the Son of God, that he is the creator. God began the alphabet, that means the Hebrew alphabet, with Father. He is our Father. Hallelujah. The creator of the whole universe. You can trust our Father and He loves you. Amen. Make Jesus the Lord of your life day to day. Amen. If you have not made Jesus the Lord of your life, I'm telling you, you are missing a lot. Where will you be when you leave this world? Are you for certain that you will see heaven when you die? What will God say to you when you know when you when you when you, are, when you come to the gate of heaven? Do you think he will allow you to you know to, to come in? You think? Or what would God why would God allow you to come in? Because you're a good person? There's no good person. You must repent of your sin today and turn to him because he loves you. Amen. 
God bless you. God bless you. And I'll see you in the next video. Amen.